what's going on everyone so i was gonna make another video i was gonna talk about my store showdown which i was creating the graphics for just about to record and sit down and post that which i'm still doing by the way don't worry it's coming but i saw these couple of cards released this morning and my goodness was i just super excited i wanted to make a video about it immediately so before we dive into it guys if you want to pick up any of the cards for star wars unlimited including these ones when they do come out use my tcg player link in the description down below it helps me out it uh, helps you out as well as well picking up Django fett here is going to help your soul because this guy looks absolutely sweet uh so we have a four resource aggression villainy ground unit and he is a three six underworld bounty hunter and when you attack a unit with a bounty he's going to get plus three plus oh and overwhelm and when he defeats attacks and defeats a unit he's going to draw a card for you really really crazy we're going to talk about all the synergies of course which there are a ton of but if you just look at this guy as a base rate a four resource three six is not terrible okay it's like an average stat line if you look at the other four resource units in the game oftentimes they're hovering around four four stats that's what you're looking and they have a reasonable ability and this is kind of what Django Fett is, right? It's a 3-6 with a pretty good um, ability in terms of when this unit attacks and defeats a unit, you draw a card. But the other mode where you're getting plus 3, plus 0 and overwhelm when a unit has a bounty turns this guy into a 6-6 six, six for 4 that allows you to hit their units and kill them and keep your Django Fett alive because 6 toughness is never going to be killed unless it's like a really, really later game unit. And you get to hit their base. So it's the perfect amount of okay i'm going to aggressively attack your units that also puts pressure on your base that also puts me ahead on cards which is really important because the drawing a card is super synergistic with the bounty applications that we have currently uh previously i would have said you know drawing a card not extremely relevant right a lot of the times you have so many things in your hands to do if you're playing a more uh mid-range slash aggressive deck heck even a control deck you have a lot of options normally of course drawing a card is never bad right there's always reasons to be drawing cards you know um giving you more options at the very minimum but drawing a card isn't like the most relevant in this game compared to something like magic most of the time however the reason why I say this is also extremely important and why I'm excited about the bounty ability is if we look at some of the cards, there's another card in here that was released yesterday, I believe, um, that uh, really synergizes with Django or the bounty upgrades, okay? And we've already seen top target with the one that heals. I don't really think that this fits Django style. Like, I don't think you're going to be wanting to heal damage from your base. You could be, you could be playing Vigilance, you know, Django. Keep in mind that Django also um, is in the same aspects as the Bosk leader. And so um, if we are playing Bosk, then you can play the aggression for Django for free. And then, you know, you could play a secondary aspect. So all these could be, you know, applicable. Wanted is a really nice one. If you decide to go play Cunning, we've talked about this one when it was like initially released. It was like one of the first cards, uh, giving you the ability to reset your resources. So if you play out Django, you play a Wanted on something and the next turn, you maybe you use some resources, you kill their units, you get to draw a card and you get to ready some more resources to use that card advantage. But also remember, these upgrades are cards from your hand and they cost nothing or very cheap amount of resources and so you can actually dump your hand and so the drawing a card is relevant because of cards like this but then there's the two new ones that i haven't spoken about um and one of them released yesterday and this is where i see some really amazing stuff happening for django the first one is guild target okay allowing you to put a bounty on an enemy unit and if you kill them and you will <laughs> uh you're going to be able to do two damage to a base or if they're a unique unit you get three damage to a base now, if you think about what this will what this will do in a normal game, let's say they go, you know, turn one play, turn one, turn two play, turn three play, they play a K2SO and they're playing like a, a Sabine Ren and Echo Base Defender. Maybe you played a Boba Fett earlier um, or maybe you've played whatever it is and you're trading with your opponent's units because they're like the mega aggressive deck. Well, the following turn, you get to go ahead and kill target the K2SO. You get to play your Jango because it's the same resources and you get to attack their k2so kill their k2so deal two to their base and three to their base with the guild target that is extremely powerful and you get to draw a card that's super super huge okay 
and doing something like that allowing you to synergize with all your bounty effects and let's say you're playing boss you can also ping k2so beforehand and that gives you the the ability to you know maybe deal another damage to their base because of overwhelm right the synergy of getting plus three plus so and overwhelm makes it super powerful because bounty encourages you to hit the opponent's units and then overwhelm allows you to translate that damage into base damage so you put pressure on your opponents this is really really cool and then the most impressive um bounty with the exception of top target here um bounty upgrade i should say price on your head this is a two resource upgrade in command that allows you to put a bounty on your opponent's unit that says put the top card of your deck into play as a resource if you defeat that unit this is a resupply for two resources now that might not seem like uh or that might seem insane there are some restrictions in that you do need a unit from your opponent and you do need to kill that unit from your opponent in order for to, you to get that resupply but that's huge because not only is this a resupply for two resources but it's also allowing you to enable your bounty synergies and your bounty payoffs such as Django Fez can you imagine you go um you know turn one whatever play turn two whatever play or maybe you go turn two like super laser tech right and they have i don't know some viper probe droid out um uh, and they're like oh man um my viper probe droid is probably just gonna die to your super laser attack or something like that and then you put price on your head on a on a viper probe droid right and then you trade your super laser attack into your viper probe drive you get double resupply on the following turn which allows you to just get an immense immense amount of resources into play right you go turn one price in your head on your viper road ride turn two super laser tech turn three attack you have six resources that is crazy that is absolutely crazy of course they could kill your super laser tech with another unit instead of having you trade with their viper road ride but that still gives you a resource and it saved you damage anyways so that's probably advantage you as well um and heck i mean if you're playing boss you can go turn one price on your head right ping your 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 viper probe droid and then do it anyways again the following turn that's crazy so there's a lot of synergies with this card i do think this card is one of the stronger um you know upgrades and i i think that the django payoff is going to be huge um let me see if there's a boss here um in the in the card pool i don't know if there there is um uh, right now i don't think there is but regardless um that synergy with uh, with everything that's going on is crazy but that's not all we have today while i do think Django fett and price in your head is crazy there are two other cards that hannon's here uh got the exclusive card reveal for if you want to check this guy out guys makes amazing deck tech graphics um I, I like to make my own graphics for my deck techs as well but uh this guy does a great job and uh very very happy um about that we got two cards from him I'll leave a link to his video down below so you can check out his video. I just want to talk about the cards here. The first one being Modded Cohort. Now, this one is a uh, a four resource ground unit in Command Heroism 2-4 Underworld with Ambush and Raid 2. So if I look at this like its base amount, it's a 2-4 with Raid 2, so it attacks for four. That's like, okay. It's not like terrible. It's got Ambush, which means that you are going to get the plus two plus so when you're attacking because it does attack right with ambush so it's gonna ambush is a 4-4 it's kind of like an escort skiff right escort skiff is a 4-4 base that allows you to ambush and honestly i don't really see an advantage to this one compared to escort skiff um with the exception of of course you're not going to be able to go ahead and get the escort skiff ambush if you don't have another command unit on the battlefield but I don't know why you would play this one over Escort's Gift, to be honest. Uh, maybe because the Underworld synergies, I don't know. Uh, maybe because Raid 2 is relevant. Maybe because it has keywords. But of course, Escort's Gift has keywords, right? So you could just play Escort's Gift uh, because it has the ambush. You can get the plus one, plus zero oh from Bobo, for example, if you wanted to synergize with that. I'm not huge on this card. It is a pretty like base level common. I think it's going to be reasonable, probably decent for draft. So I'm pretty excited about that. On the other hand, we have a, another card in Boba Fett's Armor this one looks a lot more exciting um so we have a two resource upgrade that allows you to attach to a non-vehicle unit and if attached unit is boba fett and damage would be dealt to him prevent two of that damage so a two resource upgrade that gives plus two plus so is already pretty solid right it is a unique upgrade which means you cannot place multiple of the same unique upgrades on a unit so you can't just put a bunch of boba fett's armor on boba fett and then prevent all damage that would ever be dealt to boba fett 
but preventing two damage um, on every attack, right? Again, this is like if they open fire you, you prevent two of the damage. If you go ahead and get ambushed by like a Darth Vader, you prevent two of that damage. So he ambushes for three. And if you look at like Boba Fett's that we have, right? Of course, we have leader Boba Fett, two of them now. We have the three resource Boba Fett, right? This can be just absurd on the three resource Boba Fett because it turns him into a 5-7, a 5-7. And remember, you can do some crazy things like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn one, um, play out, let's say, a Greedo. I play a Greedo. Nothing too crazy, just a Greedo, right? They play, I don't know, some random unit. You go wanted on their units, right? Turn two, you play a Boba Fett, okay? Then you kill their unit with the wanted. You then ready two resources. You play a Boba Fett's armor on your Boba Fett. It is now a 5-7. That is absurd. That is a very, very absurd, you know, couple of turns. Of course, you know, that's not going to work against every deck or for example, but against like, let's say Sabine or Leia, that's going to be probably just a game ender. Like there's not really much that they could do to come back from that. Um, and we'll just kind of get destroyed by a 5-7 Boba Fett, right? And they can't really deal with it. Because again, if you attack into their units, you are going to be preventing two of that damage, right? So if they go like Echo Base Defender, sure, no problem. You just attack an Echo Base Defender and you take two damage. Now it's a 5-5. Five, five. Okay, still outsizes basically all the units from Sabine. This can be really crazy really quickly. So I do like this. It's also really good on the Boba Fett leader, of course. If you uh, deploy Boba and then you attack, right? Let's say you've waylaid a unit back to their hand. You could have some really absurd Boba turns as this is the perfect amount of resources that you get from Boba when he attacks. Remember, um, if we would go back to the Boba leader that we do have in the game right now, um, we can see how well this really synergizes, right? You get to ready up to two resources. So you get to go ahead and attack into something, or if you've already waylaid something, killed something, traded with something, you can immediately ready the perfect amount of resources that you have if you use all your resources prior to go ahead and, uh, and upgrade your Boba Fett. You can play Bosk ambush their unit, deploy Boba, attack their base, Boba Fett's armor. It is now a 6-9. Boba Fett already has absurd stats, and there's not really many ways to deal with Boba Fett. One of the most easy ways, right, is going to be dealing like Entrenched, Super Laser Blast, or Power of the Dark Side. Power of the Dark Side is usually not an option, so it's Entrenched or Super Laser Blast, and that's it, right? And those are only really in control decks. You're not really going to see those in, in normal, you know, mid-rangey or, or, or aggressive piles. So if you get a Boba Fett's armor on Boba Fett Leader, I, I don't really see a way, you know, many decks can deal with that ever. Like, ever. <laughs> because, again, any damage that's dealt to Boba Fett Leader gets reduced by two, which is really really hard to deal with right normally you could trade with it a couple units like okay i'll attack with an echo base defender and battlefield marine it feels bad but this guy has absurd stat line already so i gotta do it anyways it's just how it goes right or you're just racing them but if you're racing them it's a six nine like you're just gonna die <laughs> with their surprise strikes or their waylays most of the time i don't really see a way um that you deal with this with uh with a boba fett's armor so uh, i do think boba fett's armor is pretty sweet um and that uh, that card i'm much more excited about than the um uh modded cohort here but uh i'm curious what we're gonna be able to do with the uh with boba fett's armor for sure so let me know what you think. I do think Boba or Jango Fett is the most exciting card um, of the little group that we got, as well as a price on your head. I don't know if I would say this is the best card in the set because of, you know, I'm not sure how well bounties will interact with the game and and, and how well the the bounties are going to feel when you're going getting into some games. But I will say Echo is up there, right? I, I would put Echo as my number one card of the whole set at the current moment. I would put Jango up there as well. I think that 6-6 six, six Overwhelm on Bounties is going to be extremely relevant, especially since we have gotten a couple of the earlier um, upgrade Bounties that you can play in the earlier turns. I think it's going to be really, really good. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And this also makes Bowsk more exciting as well. And I'll see you all in the next one.